Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will talk about the boolean data type in Java. Here is our outline. We will talk about the boolean data type, then we will initialize some boolean variables, and finally we will see a small example about conditions in Java. So let's get started. First of all, what is the boolean data type? It is a type that is used with boolean or logic values, alright? So what are boolean values? A boolean is a value that represents true or false, alright? So let's declare a boolean variable. We're going to use the boolean keyword and I'm calling it C. The possible values for a boolean variable are true and false. So a boolean variable can only contain two values, true or false, alright? And finally, the size of a boolean variable is not precisely defined. It depends on the Java virtual machine, okay? Now let's initialize some boolean variables. So inside our main method, we have two boolean variables, b1 and b2. We are assigning b1 to be equal to true and b2 is equal to false, okay? So we can use the keyword true and the keyword false. Also have a look over here. We are initializing a boolean variable, it is called b3 to be equal to 2 less than 3. So if you think about this, this is an expression that evaluates to a boolean because the result of this expression should be true or false, right? And in this case, it is true because 2 is less than 3. So b3 will be equal to true, all right? And over here, we are using the less than operator. And we will talk about operators later on. But I'm just giving you an example. Also have a look over here. Boolean b4 is equal to 2 greater than 3. We are using the greater than operator. And this expression will evaluate to false. Because 2 is not greater than 3, right? So false will be stored inside b4. So now suppose that we are printing b1 and b2 and b3 and b4. First of all, we will see true. Because b1 is true. Then we will see false because b2 is false and after that we will see true because b3 is true and this is because 2 is less than 3, this is true and finally we will see false because b4 is false because 2 is not greater than 3, alright? So now you might be asking why do we use booleans? I'm going to give you an example inside IntelliJ. First of all, let's initialize a boolean variable. So we will use the boolean keyword and I will call this variable is alive, for example. So whenever we are naming booleans, it's a good practice to name them similar to this variable. So if I want to represent if something is alive or not, I will create a boolean variable which is called is alive. Let me give you another example. If you want to search for an element if it is found or not, then we will create a boolean variable that is called is found, alright? Or if you want to see if something is empty or not, then we will call this variable is empty. So if is empty is true, this means that the thing is empty. And if is empty is false, this means that the thing is not empty, alright? So let's assign is alive to be equal to true. And let's print it using the println method. So print is alive. Run the program and have a look over here. We can see true printed, alright? Now in order to give you a good idea of what booleans do, I will create a condition. So I'm going to remove this statement from over here and I want to do the following. If is alive is true, I want to print alive. And if it is not true, I want to print not alive, alright? So I'm going to use what's called an if statement. And right now you don't have to understand anything. Just see how we are using the boolean variable, alright? So I'm going to say if is alive, then I want to print alive, alright? Like this. And if is alive is false, then I want to print not alive. So something like this, alright? So what's happening over here? This if statement takes a boolean. If this boolean is true, the statement inside the if statement will be executed, so alive will be printed. And if this boolean over here is false, the statement inside the else statement will be executed. Alright? Just understand this. I don't want you to understand anything else. So let's run the program. Have a look over here. We have alive printed. And this is because is alive is true. Now let's change is alive to be false, for example. And now let's run the program. And as you can see, now we have not alive printed. And this is because is alive is false. So this statement will not be executed and this statement over here will be executed. So let me give you a small summary. Booleans help us to create conditions in our program. So we will be able to execute certain piece of code depending on the condition. So we will have more control on what our program does, okay? And don't worry, we will talk about if statements later in details, alright? So this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.